Hey there, happy uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Uh, my name is Jared Genitasio, and I'm with, uh, I'm with PayPros and the main HR compliance series. Um, thanks for joining me once again. Last week, I talked about the Pareto Principle. Pareto, of course, is the famed uh, Italian philosopher and economist uh, who noticed in his little garden in his backyard that 20% uh, of the little uh, seedlings produced about 80% of the peas that he was growing. And then he applied it to economics as well, where he found that 20% of the Italian population was actually producing 80% uh, of the wealth. So, um, and so the Pareto uh, principle was born, and uh, many studies have been done since then. And um, so I've got uh, some charts uh, in the comments below, whether you're looking at this on Facebook or you're looking at this on uh, LinkedIn. Click on the link below to get to uh, some of the charts for some of the analysis. Um, but in a study by Forbes magazine, uh, hundreds of self-made millionaires and straight-A students and even Olympic athletes were, uh, were interviewed. And for them, handling every task uh, that was thrown at them was really pretty unrealistic. So they used the Pareto principle to know which ones to focus on uh, and then which ones to either delegate or just forget about. And so how does this relate to HR and HR in Maine? Well, if you're an HR person and you're in Maine, pretty much on a regular basis, you're dealing with a limited, you're dealing with limited resources. And so you, you can use the Pareto principle to focus on what projects are most important, what projects are most important to your boss, um, and, uh, and, and what, and, and how do you not only maximize your, uh, um, hours in a day, but also if you're in leadership, how, how do you maximize your teams? How do you get your team? You need to focus on getting your team to focus on, to find that 20% that gets the 80% of the, uh, of the results. And if you're ever, uh, talking to employees that are customer facing, You've got to focus on to say there are certain clients that produce a lot of the revenue and a lot of the profit for this organization. And so even though you don't want to put all your eggs in one basket for one, one big client or just a couple of big clients, still uh, to have a lot of clients for a customer facing uh, person could, could cause burnout. Uh, to focus on the good long-term relationships of, of the um, of the high revenue clients is very, very important to keep your customer facing people um, fresh and, um, and engaged. Um, so no matter what, uh, so no matter what your situation, it's important to remember that there's only so many minutes in an hour, so many hours in a day, so many days in a week, so many weeks in a month. Um, so, um, so that's why it's, it's so important to, um, uh, to apply the, uh, the, the Pareto principle and to figure out what 20% of your effort or your team's effort or your company's effort produces 80% of those, um, of those results. So, uh, and of course, the main HR compliance series continues at uh, Pineland Farms on Valentine's Day. We started up again. Uh, Steve Gerlach from Bernstein Shore. He's a, a, an ERISA attorney, and he's going to be talking about... Um, benefit plans. He's the guy that he actually advises brokers in Maine uh, on building and constructing and, uh, and, and structuring uh, um, uh, employee benefit plans. So you're kind of hearing from it uh, from, the, uh, from the horse's mouth there. And uh, in March, Shiloh Theberge, also from uh, Bernstein Shore, she's a labor attorney for Bernstein, and uh, she's going to be talking about what every Maine company needs to know about hiring because there's some new rules and regs, and of course, an updated study or an updated discussion on J-1 and H-2B uh, visas uh, for you, um, uh, you know, uh, 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 what am I trying to say, for seasonal, for the seasonal folks uh, out there. Um, and of course, we've got the Power of Culture, which is our, which is our um, event that's happening in April. So you can go into Eventbrite, you can Google Main HR Compliance, and uh, it'll be the first or second hit uh, in, in, in there. Or you can just click on the link in, uh, in the comments here, and um, you can sign up for all three. Uh, but you do kind of need to uh, register because um, they're, they're starting to fill up here. Um, but if you miss those uh, events, we are, we're going to start to have a webinar series. Uh, so, and so if you can't make it down to Pineland Farms, uh, maybe you can log in 
and, uh, and, and get some good free information. And whether you log into one of our webinars or you attend one of our events at Pineland Farms, you're going to uh, get SHRM credit and HRCI credit. Um, so, um, so, so anyways, thank you so much for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys next week. Bye now.